What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to create effective ChatGPT prompts. So there are six aspects that you need to pay very close attention to. So the first one here, you need to be very clear and specific. So you need to create your prompts that provide clear instructions or ask specific questions to guide the model's response. Clearly define the desired outcome or the information that you are seeking to obtain to elicit more accurate and targeted responses. All right. Always remember when you're communicating with ChatGPT, it is very crucial to make sure that ChatGPT understands what you want and what you need. All right. So let's move on to the second one here, set content and constraints. Provide relevant context or constraints in your prompts to guide the model's understanding. Specify any limitations, requirements, or boundaries to ensure the model generate responses within the desired scope or framework. So actually, it really depends on what type of output um, that you want to be generated by ChatGPT. If you want ChatGPT to be as creative as possible, you want ChatGPT to be as imaginative as possible, then you shouldn't have too many constraints. But if you want the output to be very specific, then make sure you add relevant context and constraints to your prompt, right? So yeah, that's the second one. Let's move on to the next one here. Um, use examples or demonstrate expected format consider providing examples or demonstrating the expected format for the desired responses this can help the model understand the structure and style you are seeking improving the chance of generating responses that meet your expectations so actually it really depends on what you're doing with chat gpt so if you're just asking uh, you know very basic questions then uh, most likely you won't need this but if you're asking ChatGPT to generate you a pretty complex template or maybe a pretty complex script for your uh, ad copy and you want the output to be exactly match your expectations, then obviously you will need to provide you know some examples uh, to let ChatGPT know, hey, actually this is my expected output. Can you make it like this? All right, so that's number three. Let's move on to the next one here experiment with different phrasing so try to experiment with different phrasing or variations of prompts to explore how they influence the model responses small changes in wording can often lead to significantly different outputs so iterate and refine your prompts to achieve the desired outcome so i totally get it this is like the most annoying part uh, you're going to do a lot of trials and errors but um honestly if you're serious about learning prompt engineering that's what it takes to be expert at prompt engineering, guys. You need to be willing to spend some time doing trials and error to see, okay, we're getting closer to our goal, so it seems that we need to add this, right? And the only way you can get better is by practicing more and more every day. All right, so that's number four. Let's move on to the next one here. Number five, be mindful of length. All right. So sometimes you're utilizing ChatGPT to generate you a pretty complex output um, and I totally get it guys sometimes you have a paragraph long prompt or maybe five six sentences of long prompts and it's totally fine right I'm not saying uh, anything wrong with that but it's going to be way better if you are willing to break down that complex prompt into like s smaller pieces into like more simple pieces so ChatGPT is going to be able to understand uh, better like what you actually want right and yeah that's uh number five let's move on to the next one here emphasize your instructions and intentions right so sometimes when people are writing their prompts they don't really specify what they want they don't really specify um the instructions hey uh chat gpt i want you to do this i want you to to do that right so sometimes they don't really uh specify that part and it's going to leave ambiguity and makes ChatGPT wonder, hey, actually, what you want me to do, right? So it's better for you to clearly emphasize your instruction or intentions in your prompt, right? Make it very clear so ChatGPT is going to be able to understand what you actually want or maybe what output that you're seeking to get. So yeah, um, that's all, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, uh, we're going to 
uh, talk about basic chat GPT prompt structure. All right, so it's actually going to be a pretty short video. I just want to make sure you understand the basic chat GPT prompt structure. All right, so as you guys can see, I have a pretty cool screenshot here that I got from a uh, chat GPT. So who is better source to ask these questions than chat GPT themselves, right? So yeah, I was asking this question. I was asking um, chat GPT to generate me chat GPT prompt structure, right? So who's the better source to answer this question? So yeah, give me basic uh, chat GPT prompt structure. As you guys can see, there are like three components. The first one is user message or input, right? So that's the input. For example, I want chat GPT to generate me ad copy for my products. So my input will be, hey, chat GPT generate me in generate me ad copy for my uh, dropshipping product, right? Just for example. And the second one here is system message or instructions. So depending on your prompt, uh, sometimes you want to specify your instructions, right? In my case, uh, generate me ad copy, right? So that's definitely instruction to instruct ChatGPT to generate me that ad copy, right? So yeah, it's following the user message. You can include a system message or instructions to guide the model's behavior. Um, and then the next one here, um, model response, uh, which is the output, right? So the model response is generated output from ChatGPT based on the user message and any preceding system messages. It represents the model's reply or response to the user inputs and continue the conversations. So um, as you guys can see, ChatGPT also provides me with a pretty cool example here. Here is an example to illustrate the basic structure. So the user, so this is the input. How does gravity work, right? So that's the equations. And in this example, the user initiates the conversations with the questions about gravity, All right? Cool. And this is the system. Gravity is a fundamental force that attracts objects with mass towards each other. It plays a crucial role that is shaping the motions, all right? So that's the message. And the system message, uh, which is the output, is this one. Gravity is explained with a, by the theory of general relativity, stuff like that, all right? So hopefully that's cleared that up. So you guys, that's a basic chat GPT problem structure. Um, it is very important for you to understand this. All right, I think that's it. Uh, that's all you need to know. Uh, that's what I told you, pretty short video. Just make it sure you understand um, the basic structure. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to uh, start learning how to use uh, ChatGPT prompt generator to automate uh, prompt creations. All right, so I'll see you guys there.